Hey, what's good? It's a new week, a new vlog. Today we are concentrating on all the advisories that are on the last time tea because Hope is due for her annual report <laughs> in a few weeks. So we're going to get under the van, we're going to clean up some rust. Uh, there's not massively loads of it, um, but enough to warrant goggles and a metal brush. So yeah, let's crack on. Ow. <laughs> it's quite simple, you just get every, see where it's all flaky? No. Well, you'll see. My goggles are Hello. steaming up. <laughs> I can't see anything. <laughs> You're just, <laughs> why, br why brush in the metal? Like this. See, just get all the loose off. Doesn't all have to be completely clean, just get the loose off. Yeah. What, like all of this? Anything that's metal. Like right in front of me. You can do that as well. Or that's like all of this. Yeah, anything you can see. Obviously, be careful not to break any cables. Okay. But anything you can see. Just. And then we're going to spray the whole bottom of this van. Okay. So don't get it in your eyes. Alright. That's my brush gone. But yeah, that's what you see what the wire brush is for now, don't you? Yeah, I've lost it though. <laughs> No, serious, and I'm all steamy. <laughs> Literally can't see anything, Dad. This isn't working out. You'd have last seen me with a wire brush getting all the flaky bits of rust off underneath the van. I said I'd get involved. It wasn't the nicest of jobs. I did spend the whole time moaning, but um, I did my fair share, I think. And then we had to hose it all down and then my dad went in and treated it all. But that's all finished now. There is a couple of concerning holes. I'm not sure if it's gonna need welding until I put it in for the MOT. We can't quite work out if it's integral or not. So I'll just have to see and hope for the best. But that's a big job finish. The bathroom, it's still cooking. Um, haven't opened this door in a few days. But yeah, I think it's getting there. In a couple of days then, we will put the sink, tap, mirror, and get this a functioning room. And then again, I'll be able to have running water because I've got some washing up in there. <laughs> already i don't even live in it yet other exciting news the fabric has come for the sofa which oh, i've been waiting for i've been waiting to do this job for so long it keeps going wrong but the one that's turned up i really like it's very nice and i think it will be the cherry on the top of this whole space so i can't wait to do that i'm gonna do that tomorrow i need dad to cut all the ply and i need to measure and cut this extra bit of foam I can't wait to do that. I am gigging this afternoon, so you know I love to bring you along. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Today we have got the very exciting task of recovering my sofa cushions. So if you remember, I needed to, I'll show you on this one as a little demo, um, just fill the bottom of this one and again on the other side out a little bit so that it's all going to be one level for some reason. It's a lot shorter but I think it will look better if it's higher like that. So I'm going to cut this spare piece of mirror foam, I have no idea where that's come from but just cut two little pieces out. So that's all nice and even. And then dad is gonna measure up the ply and then we're gonna cover it with the new fabric via a staple gun. So while I'm doing that, dad is gonna make a start 
on the outside of the van. So I'll show you how it is now in all its beautifulness. <laughs> but we're gonna make it more beautiful. Dad needs to prep for all the outside before we paint it. Paint has been ordered and that will come in a couple of days, but there is loads of little dings and I mean loads, like literally all over the outside of the whole van. Can you see that? I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to revive this bit because of the detail. But like just loads of dings everywhere. I don't know how they've appeared. I'm probably stones or something. Or uh, free range kids. <laughs> but on the bonnet as well, it's been sprayed previously. So all of that's like flaking off. There's obviously some rust. Um, so yeah, gonna get all that prepped, filled, sanded, ready for painting in a couple of days. That one came off easy, but we might have to set the van on fire to get these off. <laughs> it probably wouldn't set on fire, it's probably still wet. <laughs> yeah, I have to leave it for the summer to dry out first. <laughs> What's happening? That's your rusty wheel arch. It's not that bad though. Oh. Solid underneath. But the guy before, did. he said he did all the underneath, so it's not gone through. Okay. You can see where it's been repaired before. So that's got rust treatment on it now. Good and I did underneath the window sill, the rust was coming down here. So I've got rust, I've sanded it all back under there, got rust treatment all under there. All under there. The mm, worst yeah. bit was here. That's the worst bit. So we've got all rust treatment in there, so we'll seal all that. And this one. Oh, you, can see where, rust. you can see where, see that there, that's fiberglass. That's where oh. that's been built, built before. Yeah. But it's not that bad, it hasn't gone through, it's pretty, you know, it's not gone through the back. Okay. Well, that's about it, there's like little spots here and there, which I've got. So what are you doing now? And that's it, I'm getting the decals off, let that cure. Because what that does, is it turns the rust into a different thing, it's like magic. It takes <laughs> rust and turns it into something else. Oh. Like that, it goes poof, like that, it turns it into poof, into something else. I don't know what it turns it into, but not rust. <laughs> Anything but rust. Yeah, it's just not rust, apparently. Okay. That's what it says on the tin. <laughs> and then obviously you will prime it, fill it, sand it all back into the shape of a wheel arch. Okay. Etch primer and then enamel coach paint on top of that. Awesome. And then next year it'll probably need doing again. <laughs> what yeah. seems to be the officer problem? Well, the, pro the officer problem is we know why the bed was rotten. Oh, this, what if the? This, if this goes, I'm going to go fly. There's like tons of like a drive by shooting. Look at it. Look oh. at the holes. You can see the timbers I've put in. Why would this. they just cover that up with a stick? They're not going to be stickers then, are they? I don't know. It's just gone underneath. It's just over time, I suppose. It's just... Oh, really? Well, that solved that mystery, didn't it? I was like, where's the water coming from? Don't fall. <laughs> it looks really intense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Almost in one piece. Thank you. Look at that. Holy rusty aluminium, Batman. A new day oh, oh don't look yet don't look yet don't look yet Cypher's finished <laughs> so nice I'm so happy with it it's not bad for a little DIY job hey I didn't end up filming most of the process because I'm not gonna lie to you <laughs> I'm not very good at jobs like this and I was getting highly stressed um, but I'll quickly show you the back of the best looking one this is one we did last so it kind of looks the best but uh and you can see we've just put the ply on the back and stapled it all in and the corners we just kind of like folded over the best that I could but you know you can't see the back can you so I'm gonna go and get all my cushions that I've been dying to put on my sofa for weeks also while I'm faffing about with decorative bits all the nice jobs <laughs> that's on the outside getting all the um old vinyl stickers off and treating the rust and filling and prepping for painting to be fair it was a job i could do 
but I didn't realise it was doing it today and I just like got ready didn't I <laughs> it's been another long day but obviously I need to show you where we're at in my beautiful new home I was so excited about this sofa and I'm still very excited about it <laughs> there you have it all cushioned up <laughs> got my rug down got piano it's like the music van <laughs> um i've done this a bit nicer all nice and cozy up there and i mean it's like it's like there and i'm scared <laughs> i'm gonna have to live with this soon <laughs> i say have to of course it's been my dream for so long but like now it's finally here i'm like I haven't got long. <laughs> also, uh, Dad was obviously busy prepping a lot of the outside, ready for painting, but he even got round to putting my tap and sink in the bathroom. It's not quite 10 days, but he's checked it over and he's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty solid. So yeah, there you have it. My 50p shelf, well, piece of massive wood of what it was, uh, cut down. We have had to cut this corner off, because it was just a bit awkward getting in it ended up like breaking a rib cage or something my seven pound salad bowl and then this new tap which will also act as my shower situation unfortunately it's not actually as long as the one that was in my kitchen which is what we got the idea from that one was out of stock so we got this one instead but this does actually just screw off this end so I'm thinking if it's going to be a right pain because it's not long enough, I would just get a shower with an attachment, if that makes sense when it comes to it. But progress, oh my gosh, like tomorrow, this could be like nearly finished. And then like, oh my gosh, the next day, it could be finished. <laughs> it's like coming together. MOT is booked for a couple of weeks time. So fingers crossed for that. And it literally is just the bathroom, the outside, and like a few little odd jobs. I am off busking tomorrow morning. So that's when you'll see me next, doing my thang. Dad will be in here, bless him, hard at work. So we'll come back and then see what he's up to. Oh, I'm just so happy. Good morning. I'm in Bognor today. All set up, ready to go. Still pretty early, but shops have opened. There's a few people about. And I'm at my usual spot. <laughs> Near this lady who's still asleep. Back from a lovely day of busking, and I've come home to a Almost finished bathroom. Look at this. <laughs> it looks so good. Wow. I think Dad wants to do a bit more um, sealing up in places. Um, he wants to put a few more layers of resin in the bowl. And then I can get my mirror up. I can get my curtain rail up. Um, hooks and toilet holders and all that good stuff <laughs> and then it would look well it'll just be finished it looks amazing i never expected this to look this good compared to like the manky thing that it was before but it's incredible so dad will also be putting solar panels up tomorrow i'm gonna get in some free power baby and then obviously finish off all those bits and then it's literally like it's done it's done in here um and then it's just the outside to worry about. So many emotions. <laughs> another day, another busking venture. I'm in Chichester, just around the corner. It's gonna be a nice day, I reckon. And I'm probably gonna annoy some other buskers. <laughs> I just feel it, I can just feel it today. Okay, let's set up. Let's get going. <laughs>
home is finished pretty much i mean it's finished i just want to get a few more bits so let's have a look oh i say <laughs> look how nice it's looking in here i think i've got the shower curtain on the wrong way because you want to see see that jagginess don't you but i put it on back to front so i'm gonna have to do that um i also need to get a little duck board for the bottom but look can wipe my bottom <laughs> uh that's a toothbrush toothpaste holder mirror on the wall um i love how that sink's turned out it looks brilliant i've got this massive blank space here and i need to find a nice picture i think something nice and colorful so when you walk in here it'd be a nice pop of color you know um but yeah oh i mean i think this is the biggest transformation because this was so dated in here so gnarly just so past it and it just looks like a brand new bathroom again i'm so happy i am just over the moon with not just that but the entire van i mean oh it looks amazing we are literally almost finished you would have also seen dad put up the solar panels three lovely 100 amp hour solar panels which is gonna get me by beautifully this summer and all the summers and all the sunshine days to come 99 percent finished in here we just need to do a few touch-ups um i need to get a desk chair um that's pretty much it ruining <laughs> my display that cushion um for oh it just it's beautiful so beautiful keyboard staying up there in the daytime or driving along you know tv obviously i need to pick up a telly i haven't got one of those yet um not that i intend to sit here and watch telly all day but you know i want a rainy day i might want to play a bit playstation or something <laughs> just oh i don't even know what to say like i'm actually lost for words it's too good it's too good in here oh it's perfect <laughs> so i'm gonna end this week's vlog here next week will be the last fan conversion video we're gonna do all the outside. There'll be a few odd jobs as we go along on this crazy journey, but the full build and conversion will be finished next week. Can you believe it? I picked up the van on the 19th of January. The 19th of January. It's now the 19th of May. Four months and a week to do this entire build. Ah, it's incredible. What an amazing job my dad has done. I made it look pretty, of course. <laughs> like, <laughs> dad says there's still a few more important bits that I need to buy, i.e. a tracker, um, some more security cameras, a DC charger, a better lock for the outside, a flux capacitor, and turbo to get up to 88 miles an hour. So once I got all that, I mean, it's pretty much all kitted out, isn't it? I can't say that <laughs> so I'm gonna end this week's vlog here we're nearly there guys nearly on the road so don't forget to subscribe hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and this conversion so far see you soon stay groovy I don't know what else to say you're so overwhelmed <laughs> goodbye you're cute